Hey, I love your picnic setups. They are adorable. Thank you so much. I would love to have a picnic set up with me and about 10 other of my girlfriends. Absolutely, the rate on that is $360. That includes a two hour picnic and charcuterie. I'm an influencer in the Black Smudge area and was hoping you'd do the picnic for free. On top of that, you would pay a huge discounted rate of 200 to post to my social. I usually charge 1200. Damn. Not only is she asking for it for free, but she's also trying to charge this person. She hit her with the Uno reverse. What? Hello everyone, my name is Adam and welcome back to Plip Plop. All right, everyone, you know the drill. We are back with choosing beggars. Let's get started. I'm allergic to your food. A few years ago, I was working as a travel nurse in a small unit at a Miami hospital. It was a great group of people, mostly. People brought local food in and were very social, so I started baking and bringing southern items to share. After I brought in some pecan pound cake one day, another traveler thought she would be kind and bring in some walnut brownies. That's when Karen erupted. You always bring in this food for everyone, but it's got nuts and I'm allergic to nuts. You aren't bringing in food for me. Mind you, Karen never brought in food for everyone. She was always there to eat it and talk about how she made a better version, but not once did she ever bring food in. And she never said anything like, those look great, but I'm allergic to nuts, hint hint, like a functioning adult would. We would have gotten the hint and tried to accommodate her allergies. After she finished her rant and stormed out, the other three of us that were in the break room, me, the other traveler, and my work wife, looked at each other then and said at the time, oh, it's on. For the next few weeks, we brought in food every day without fail, and every bit of it had nuts on slash in. I made chunky chocolate pecan bars, someone else brought in homemade banana nut bread, another got cinnamon rolls with sprinkled nuts from one of the best bakeries in the city, even the docs got in on it by ordering cupcakes one day with nuts on all of them. I brought in Nutella, we even made hazelnut coffee to go with my mom's pecan pie. We dined like royalty that month, while Karen could only sniff and simmer. It was glorious. Yeah, it's almost like stamping your feet and having a temper tantrum and yelling at everyone doesn't always get you your way in the adult world. PSA for family regarding Xmas and B-Day presents for Black Smudge. Since we had some mix-ups last year, I'm letting you all know how I designate the gifts. We've already started making a list of presents that Black Smudge has personally requested for her Xmas and B-Day. I usually give people two to four gifts to split for Christmas and her birthday, and the price usually adds up to $50 per holiday. I will give you exact items to purchase so that we don't get doubles and so that it's exactly what Black Smudge picked out. Once I organize the gifts, I'll send your two to four gifts that only you can get. If for some reason you can't find the item or it's too much money, please let me know. I've already bought her major Christmas present because it was sold out. I was waiting on the list to get notified when it came back in stock. It seems like there isn't a product, a lot of product in the stores around here, so please buy the items early so it's not forcing me last minute to pick something else for you to get Black Smudge. I know this seems extreme, but Black Smudge and I are very particular about this. She gets that from me. Oh my god. This, this is like the worst type of person, right? ASF's available, males only. Are you insane? Your prices are robbery and you're not even selling females. WTF, how greedy are you? I'm not selling ASF feeders. I'm selling pets here from a line that has been extensively, selectively bred to remove the bitey traits. They're as tame as hamsters are. There are plenty of cheap ones available from feeder lines. I would recommend buying those if you feel like better temperament isn't worth paying for. <laughs> I've seen your Facebook page. I know who you are. You're greedy and selfish. Congratulations, she uses a search function. But if you don't like me, then don't buy my ASFs. Or you can not be an a-hole and sell me some females to go with one male. I'll give you $5 each. Price just went up. There's 75 each now. Special deal just for you, pal. <laughs> you think you're tough, kid? Watch your back. There's not many squinty-eyed losers around here. You're too easy to find to talk smack, loser. Your. The spelling lesson was a freebie. The ASFs are 100 each now, but TBH, I'd rather just blacklist you and never sell you anything now or in the future. <laughs> you wanna go, you scrawny little goof? I will mess you up, bring it. I've seen you hang out at the ESSO before. Wouldn't be a fair fight. You'd cry for your mommy on the first hit. Hold up, you're challenging me to a fight because I won't sell you a rodent? <laughs> you think you'd be a challenge, you poor skinny bitch? I would destroy you. Bring your sorry ass back to Jamestown to find out. 
Yeah, that explains a lot. I don't accept stolen credit cards or dirty meth money. Did you steal the phone you're using to message me on here too? Can't imagine you bought it with your own hard-earned money if you're whining about the price of pet ASFs. <laughs> you're making an enemy you're gonna regret. Really? And who exactly am I making an enemy of? Your worst nightmare. People know me. The fact that you don't show no respect just shows how stupid you are. People know better than that to F with me. Cringe. How do you know the words you and are yet never used your? How about you tell me your full name so I know exactly which Jeremy I'm supposed to be showing respect to? How the F do you know my name is Jeremy? It literally says your name is Jeremy on your KGG profile. WTF bro, did you hack my KGG? I never told you my name is Jeremy or sent you my profile, WTF. I'm supposed to know who you are and be afraid of you because of who you are, but you're concerned that I know your name is Jeremy? Well, this was a bizarre interaction. Who knew the world of selling ASFs or hamsters or whatever was so intense? Okay, we have a review here. One star, my daughter found her dress last summer and was told by business that she should hurry and order it in time for her New Year's Eve wedding. The dress arrived in three to four weeks. We were all good with that, but did feel rushed that evening to order and put money down. The pandemic unfortunately caused postponement of the wedding and has moved to this July. My daughter had chosen a winter feeling dress and wanted a lighter weight, more summer feeling dress. Business owner slash manager reminded us that we signed a contract and there were no exceptions in choosing a different dress. We were told that we could simply leave the dress at the store and let the account close, meaning they would keep the dress along with the $600 deposit. I've been a nurse for over 30 years. My daughter is a new nurse and we both worked very hard during the pandemic. Many establishments helped out healthcare workers and supported them by treating them extra special. Business Bridal did not get the memo. I understand that businesses still have to survive, however, the entire country made sacrifices. Again, Business Bridals did not. We were stuck with a dress that my daughter will not use. I encourage all brides to stay clear of this store. There are many beautiful, kind, smaller bridal shops all over the state who care and are compassionate. Think twice before heading to business. And then we have the response of the business. So I can only imagine what this will entail. We wish we could say we were surprised to see your review, but as we discussed this several times over the phone, email, and in person, we've been expecting this. We're very sorry that your daughter was affected by the pandemic and had to reschedule her wedding. Ultimately, she decided to purchase a new dress, fully understanding our policy of no returns or refunds, a policy that is an industry-wide standard for special ordered items. We feel we offered many options to your daughter, including helping to redesign the gown or waive the balance due, but you were only interested in a full refund. We also shared our list of resale websites with you and your daughter to try to help. While we do sincerely appreciate all that you and your daughter have gone through during the pandemic, we're disappointed that you feel we have been unaffected. Everyone, in every industry, has been negatively affected by the pandemic, as I'm sure you can understand. We've had countless requests for returns from brides, moms, bridemaids, and prom girls. Almost every person has changed their plans and feels their situation is unique. We really do wish we could accommodate refunds or returns, especially during this difficult time, but because designers will not take back merchandise, it would be impossible for us to, to do so either. We try to treat all customers equally and find it is best to follow our policies as it would be difficult to decide who is more valued than others. And there it is. The clapback, so to speak. It wasn't really a clapback, but uh, they basically always seem to add a little bit more detail than the customer reveals in their own review. So there you have it. All right, that's it for today, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like or letting us know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoy these types of videos in general, please consider subscribing. It'll really help us out. Thanks for sticking around and we'll see you in the next one.